What's up everybody, Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. Hope you don't mind while I talk to you, I cook up a new batch of chicken breast here on the grill. Our other grill rotted out, wouldn't run anymore. So we just got this put together last night. Already cooked up steaks on it last night and today stocking up on some more chicken breast. Wanted to talk to you about August of Arms, which just completed on August 31st. I hit 31 straight days of arm training of some sort. That was some kind of specialization for arms done every single day during the month of August. Um, a lot of people don't realize that was actually quite a challenge for me for two reasons, three reasons really. First off, I've never trained every single day in a month before. Always take days off. Second, the first full week in August, I was on family vacation. So normally on family vacation, I might only hit a couple workouts and I actually trained every single day over the course of that vacation. Uh, either out on the patio deck of the condo or I rode the bus from Ocean City to the nearby gym and worked out there. So that was, you know, that was something new for me as well. Uh, the other reason that made this thing so challenging for me was I got very, very tired. Uh, I needed a day off for probably the last eight or nine days. I really wanted a day off. I didn't take it because I was committed, but by that point I really needed a day off and, and could have used one. But I went ahead and stayed the course. Now a lot of people have asked about have I gotten any gains from it? And the answer most definitely is yes. Each arm was roughly 18 inches prior to this, maybe a, just a hair over. And at the end, I was just a hair under 19 inches. Um, over the course of this time, I think my body weight went up a total of 9 pounds. Uh, and most of that happened when I was on vacation because I was pretty much eating a seafood diet. Now, we were down to Ocean City, Maryland. That doesn't mean I was eating seafood every meal. But pretty much if I saw food, I ate it. I ate huge breakfast, huge lunch, huge dinners every single day. So, you know, part of that, a lot of cal you need extra calories in order to put on muscle. And somewhere along the line, someone said it's like to put on one inch on your arms, you need to put on like 20 inches, uh, 20 pounds uh, across your whole body. So, you know, I don't know how accurate that is, but since I put on about nine pounds and put on an inch um, you know you, it just shows you do have to put some weight on in order to put on muscle. Um, a lot of people have wondered what I'm going to be doing next. Uh, well first off before I get into that I want to say that I wish I would have taken more measurements and the reason why is the measurement that I took was just simply a cold bicep uh, curl, uh, you know, flex like this, whatever that's called. I didn't take a relaxed arm hanging measurement or a flexed tricep measurement, and I really wish I did because I think the one inch increase, while that is, you know, I'm certainly happy with that, I'm sure if I would have taken more measurements, I think I would have seen bigger changes across the board that were probably more impressive because. The one thing, I feel that I definitely have attained more than just, you know, an increase in a flex bicep. Because walking around, my the shirts, almost every single shirt that I own, the sleeves are tight now. So there's been increase in the overall girth. And as we all know, there's more tricep size to the arm than bicep. And I did just as much, if not more, tricep work during the month than I did biceps, yet my before and after measurement is only based on the flex bicep. So I think there probably could be even bigger increases elsewhere if I had measured the tricep. Okay, I hope, I hope that makes sense. So somewhere down the lines, people have asked, are you going to do this again? Absolutely, I will do it again sometime in some shape or form. Now a lot of people want to know what I'm going to do for September. After all, might as well keep the momentum going. And I will be honest with you, I took, I took yesterday off. I needed a day off. Yesterday was September 1st, Labor Day, and I pretty much used that as a family day. Family's very important. Did a lot of 
stuff around the house. Um, went fishing with my daughter uh, and put this grill together with my wife uh, because we hadn't had a grill that was operating for a few weeks and I picked this up for her for her birthday. So got that out of the way. We're all set there and uh, you know did some other family stuff and you know I worked out I, I trained my my wrestlers in the morning most of them are playing football now so they're real busy so I'm not seeing them as often so I got their workouts in in the morning and I you know I hit some pull-ups and I hit some push-ups with them but that's it so today was really an off day for me or uh, yesterday was really an off day for me and I'm gonna start today now here's the plan for September I believe what I'm going to call this is instead of September I'm going to call it leg timber. Um, and I'm going to hit 30 days of leg training. Now, the idea is not just to get bigger legs. Obviously, I do need bigger legs. The fact of the matter is, for about four years, I didn't do any squatting or deadlifting, really, except for in preparation for grip contests because my back was in such a bad state. So I took all that time off, and it really made my quad development suffer. So I think for September, the emphasis is going to be on legs. And I'm calling it leg timber. And if you want to take part in this, and you want to be a part of it on Facebook and Twitter, then the hashtags you want to use are pound leg timber and pound 30 days of legs. The measurements, I think, like I said, I'm going to take a few extra measurements this month and see how I can increase overall. So I want to, I want to hit the, the flex quad, I want to hit the flex hamstring on each side, and then maybe just a standing measurement for each leg, and and see what the increases are from there. Um, Again, for about four years, I wasn't doing any legs just out of fear for my back. Uh, when I squatted, you know, just 135 would make my back go out. I had some serious back problems for quite a while. A lot of that is taken care of due to smarter training and some rehab that I've done and other things that I do where I can actually squat now. And through all of this year and part of the end of last year, I, I have been squatting all that time. So this, year, this month, the emphasis is going to be legs with the objective of bringing up the squat. So I'm not just going to go down there and squat every single day. That's not going to happen. If I were to do that, I think that would be asking for more injury. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to train smart. I'm going to do lots of unilateral stuff. My squatting frequency will go up, but there's going to be a lot of unilateral things to be as a more of an athletic uh, type of approach lunges, split squats, uh, rear foot elevated split squats, things along those lines. I'm also going to do more dynamic nature stuff, so vertical leaps, bounds, and different plyos, squats, deadlifts, I'll be doing all of those, including uh, a little specialized hamstring and grip strength training that I do in order to bring up both at the same time. So. That's what uh, the plan is going forward for September. I hope you take part. And if you're going to, please make your posts on Facebook. But also, I want you to join my Diesel Crew group on Facebook and post there. I think the best practice that happened last month was with Gary Stewart and Alan Wetton. And what they did is they made a post of their before measurements and then they replied in their comments to their initial post and it was really easy to follow along. I thought that was really cool so that's what I'll be doing as well in order to keep everything a bit more uh, well organized. Okay, So I hope you do that. Again, it's the Diesel Crew group. Sign up, look at, go to my Facebook profile, my page, and then on the side join my Diesel Crew group. I'll get you in there and you'll be able to post for Leg Timber. All right, have a happy leg timber, everybody, and one more double bicep flex for August of Arms. All right, all the best of your training, guys. Take care.